One group contains data for maximum temperature, which is sent to the one reducer, and the other group contains data for minimum temperature, which is sent to the second reducer. Both reducers work on their assigned task to generate maximum and minimum temperature for a day of the year as separate output. Both outputs are combined further to display on the screen as one. Therefore, map reduce jobs where applications are complex, multiple reducers are used to execute the task. Hadoop streaming. Hadoop is programmed in Java, but it supports other programming languages for executing MapReduce jobs too. Hadoop streaming is used to write Hadoop programs in any language other than Java. Hadoop streaming uses Unix standard streams as an interface between Hadoop and your program. So you can use any language that can read standard input and write to standard output in your MapReduce program. Streaming is naturally suited for text processing. Map input data is passed over standard input to your map function, which processes it line by line and writes lines to standard output. A map output key value pair is written as a single tab delimited line. Input to the reduce function is in the same format. A tab separated key value pair passed over standard input. The reduce function reads lines from standard input which the framework guarantees are sorted by key and writes its results to standard output. For example, Python works with standard streaming input and output. In the Python program, we use a command called streaming.jar. Hadoop pipes. Hadoop pipes is the name of the C++ interface to Hadoop MapReduce. Unlike streaming, which uses standard input and output to communicate with the map and reduce code, pipes use sockets as the channels over which the task tracker communicates with the process running the C++ map or reduce function. Hadoop developer. A Hadoop developer is responsible for the actual coding or programming of Hadoop applications. This role is similar to that of a software developer. The job role is pretty much the same, but the former is a part of the big data domain. Let us look at some of the responsibilities of a Hadoop developer and gain an understanding of what this job title is all about. Job responsibilities of a Hadoop developer. A Hadoop developer has many responsibilities and the responsibilities are dependent on your domain or sector, where some of them would be applicable and some might not. The following are the tasks a Hadoop developer is responsible for. Hadoop development and implementation. Translate complex functional and technical requirements into detailed design. Performance analysis of vast data stores and uncover insights. Maintain security and data privacy. Create scalable and high performance web services for data tracking. High speed querying. Test prototypes and oversee handover to operational teams. Purpose, best practices or standards for big data. To summarize, in this module, we learned a very crucial and wonderful concept in Hadoop, which is the backbone of all big data analysis. We call it MapReduce. We learned the steps through which huge data is analyzed using MapReduce. We took the case study of weather data analysis to further elaborate the practical implementation of MapReduce. So that was all for this module. Thank you.